Ho, we got the legend in the motherfucking building, Weezy F, baby. Man, you know, <laughs> little motherfucking wing. It's a brief intro with Devontae from Devontae Paradise. And we got Lil Wayne in the building. I'm excited for this one. Lil Wayne is the first. No, let me rephrase that. He's not the first little. He's the most memorable little we got out there. All your little pumps. For, for those of y'all that are young, all your little pumps. All your little skies. Little Uzi Vert. Little Yachty. This motherfucker is a legend of them. Y'all need to remember this man. Now, a lot of people, most people know Wayne. Most people know Wayne. But most people don't know when Wayne really, really started with the Hot Boys in 98. So, we got the block is hot. You know, this man's a legend. I mean, like, this man has contributed so much to hip-hop. Um... He could sit, he, 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 he's, he's the beating heart. This, this man is the beating heart to hip hop. I can say that with confidence. I mean, let's, let's go over his accomplishments for a second, right? The hot boy, boom. He, he made bling bling popular. Okay. He made little popular. He brought in Drake. He's the one that brought Drake to the forefront. He brought Nicki to the forefront. He brought Tyga to the forefront. He went to New York and started working with New York artists, giving them a wide, wider, a wider audience in in the South. He started working with Joel Santana with the dedication mixtapes. He's the one that popularized, really, really popularized, lean, and other drugs. You know, he's, he sold a million copies in 08 with the Carter 3. Changed the whole game of hip-hop. Let's go, let's go over the block of time. So, we got his label mates on here. The big timers, the big timers is uh, Birdman, Manny Fresh. You got Juvenile, BG, Turk on the album as well. Legendary, man. I got to get my iPod. Oh, and then we got Papa Roo. Papa Roo is, <clears throat> Papa Roo is, uh, Papa Roo works with uh, Scarface. So let's, Let's go over his second album, Lights Out, 2000. You know. Did he have any singles? I don't remember the singles on there. It, I mean, obviously, it's probably the block is hot. Uh, we got, so we got a second album, Lights Out. We got features from his bandmates. Unplugged. The Hot Boys, Big Timer. So let's go over his third album, 500 Degrees. I think Tiger did a song. He has a song. Yeah, he has a song called um, 500 Degrees, I think, or 400 Degrees. It's based off of this album. This is the end of. And Lil Wayne was popular, but he was like underground at this time. He wasn't. He wasn't necessarily mainstream. He was kind. He kind of was, but he he was on a he was on a rise. While um, let's see, it was Jay Z M and Jay Z M, Nelly and Snoop. They were the four. They were the forefathers at this time. They were the go-to guys. Okay, so we got big timers. DQ, PD Pablo. Birdman, Black. I'm gonna go more into Black later on in the future. We got Manny Fresh, Tatizi, Kristoff. Ooh, I know y'all see that. Unless the computer's going really slow right now. 
so 2004 Lil Wayne's fourth album The Carter now Lil Wayne changed his style up and decided to stop stop uh, writing and just go straight in the booth and rap from the heart and we got the classic album this is this is where everybody remembers Wayne from oh nobody most people don't remember Lil Wayne had three albums before he came out with the Carter so I can go into this with a little more detail uh, his label mates were, were, were getting disbanded at the time he was on his own he came in with the song Go DJ you know is there any other song Hose Earthquake Earthquake is one of my favorite songs all time, all time. This the, the one of my favorite songs of all time. This is a classic album, man. You know, classic, man. Just clap. Like I know my nigga. See, and this is this is the same vibe. And I can't compare Russ to Lil Wayne at all. You can't. I mean, obviously, but Russ represents this time period for the new era. You know what I mean? Most people are used to the drug rappers and the, and the, and the drug things. And for all of us that used to listen to hip hop back in the day, at this time in '04, Russ is that Russ is that new version of actual music, not just drug rap. You know, trying to be a tough guy, drug rap. You know, and I know some of these niggas talk about their experiences but this is this this is what our, us old hip-hop old hip-hop heads I'm considered an old hip-hop head even though I look like <laughs> I look like I look I look like I'm damn near like bad baby's age and Malu's age and shit. but in all seriousness th this this album represents a lot from us I think this is my favorite way now the Carter, the original Carter is my favorite way out. Not the Carter 3, not the Carter 2. The Carter 4 is okay, but the Carter, I think it's Wayne's best album. The original Carter. Now we got the Carter 2. He went in a little harder on this one. This album is dope too, though. Let's go over the features, right? Oh, so we got, oh, we got Fireman. Fireman's on this joint. Carter, I remember <laughs> I was in high school one time, and um, there was some guy. There was some guy in my. I was I was in this Japanese class. I think I was in about tenth grade. This is this is after the Carter two came out, and um, the guy said something controversial. We was in Japanese class, and he said, uh, "Little Wayne is better than Tupac." You know, and uh, I would, I would, I would definitely liken Lil Wayne to Tupac. I, I would, you know, um, if Tupac was alive, he would be basically Lil Wayne. It'd basically be little. It'd basically be Lil Wayne. Like let's 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 be honest about that for a second. Tupac was still alive. His legacy would be the same as Lil Wayne. So, um, let's go over to the, the singles. Fireman, Money on My Mind, Hustler Music, Shooter, Robin Thicke. He brought Robin Thicke in. Corrupt and Currency. Oh, Grown Man. Just a lot of heat on here. So, he took a little break. He was doing a lot of mixtapes. He was doing his features. He was doing his feature run. And then he dropped the Carter 3. Sold a million copies in his first week. And it it, it brought a resurgence in the hip-hop. Because after 2006, 2007, nobody was really selling a million. Everybody was good below a million. Uh, Kanye, with the graduation, sold 960,000 copies. Um, I... I said on that Kanye video that he barely beat 50 Cent. 
he he I, I did my research he he beat 50 cent pretty well 50 cent only sold 600,000 and Lil Wayne came after them sold a million he got features from Jay-Z T-Pain Babyface Dre Robin Thicke Kid Kid <laughs> Bobby V B Smith Kanye West oh I, I got the remix of Lollipop Kanye West Static Major Buster Ron, Briscoe, Betty Wright, Joel Santana, and Fabulous. This is this is this is the album that everybody's gonna say is, you know what? Honestly, I, I this probably is his best album. Probably is his best album. And then he got the baby face. Yo, this shit is crazy. This shit is definitely crazy. It's bringing me back to the to the time. My two favorite rappers in 2008 was Lil Wayne and Ti. Uh, so now we got Rebirth, his rock album. <laughs> Dope ass album. At this point, uh, he became the biggest thing ever. He carried Young Money on his back. And, or he carried cash money on his back. And he created Young Money. He brought in Drake, Nikki, Tyga, Gutta Gutta. I almost said Ty Dollar Signs. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, that. Uh, Gutta Gutta, J Mills, Lil Chucky, Lil Twist, Chanel. Mac Marion's the president. I think I, I think I got everybody. But let's go over this. Re and it, then they did the Young Money album. Lil Wayne did two albums. Rebirth and I'm Not a Human Being. He started with Rebirth. We got Chanel. He got a feature from Eminem. He got Kevin Rudolph. Kevin Rudolph was uh, Kevin Rudolph was Cash Money. He wasn't Young Money. He was Cash Money. Nicki. Then we got I'm Not a Human Being. You got Drake on here. Oh, T Streets. Damn. I forgot about T Streets. Didn't even fucking rap, but he was on Young Money. Was he? Wow. And um, we got Lil Twist. We got Jay Sean. <laughs> we got uh, Jay Mills, Gutta Gutta, Tiger. Lil Twist. And then I added never get it on there. Man, it brings me back, man. I'm in a unique place as far as just like. I'm in a unique place as far as just like life and my brand and how everything is going. Because you, you got to think about it. And I, I'm going to be brief on this because it's supposed to be about Lil Wayne. But I'm 27. I'm an old hip hop head. I can understand the old hip hop heads, and I can understand the new hip hop heads. I have the perfect balance of ratchet, ratchetness, and righteousness. I have the perfect balance of feminine energy and masculine energy. I have, um, I have, um, I have this YouTube. I know how to put banners together. I know how to edit photos. I know how to do video editing. I figured out how to screen capture. I'm kind of going off subject, but I'm, I, I, I feel like I'm in a very unique place. Very unique place. I have a niche. I have a brand. Um, and I, and I want to I wanna thank everybody for liking my shit, watching my videos. You know. Yeah, let's get into Lil Wayne a little more. I just had to say that. So we got the Carter Four. Lil Wayne's the biggest thing out. Everybody's waiting for the Carter Four, and he delivers it. And he didn't sell a million, but he sold nine hundred sixty thousand copies in his first week. This is what everybody was talking about in twenty eleven. Um, Hip hop was at a different place. He dropped the single "How to Love." The Carter Four was talked about so much. Everybody, this this everybody went to every song and listened to every song on here 
Hell, there was radio stations that played every song and let people figure out what they thought about it. That, that gives me an idea. That does give me an idea. But, uh, oh, no, no. He started off with six foot, seven foot. And then he got Nightmares at the bottom. She Will with Drake. Drake was becoming... Drake wasn't as big as he was at this time. We got John, How to Love. Uh, there was controversy with It's Good. I forgot what the controversy was about. Lil Wayne was dissing... They, they thought Lil Wayne was dissing somebody. Who the fuck was he dissing on? Oh, Jay-Z. <laughs> Jay-Z, Jay-Z, allegedly he's dissing Jay-Z and Beyonce. And Jadakiss, and they they, they did an interview where they was asking Jadakiss, yo, is he dissing, you dissing, you, you co-signed this and some, some, some? Jadakiss swerved off that shit real quick. Oh, and then we got Mirror, too. So there's some pretty interesting features. We got Corey Guns. Wonder what happened to him. Drake, T-Pain, Andre 3000, Tech 9, Rick Ross, John Legend, Jadakiss, Bun B, Nas, Shine, Busta Rhymes, Bruno Mars, Kevin Rudolph, and Birdman. Um, the Carter Four was Lil Wayne's peak. Once you see and 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 and. This is how it goes. Once you get to your ninth album, I mean, the game in Jeezy saw it. By the time you get this, this is how it goes. This is how it goes. Your first two albums, everybody's doubting you. You do your third album, your fourth album, you do three or four good albums, you're good. Once you have four good albums, you're good. Your first two albums, they're half, they have to be good. Your third album, once you do your third album is good, people start believing you. Your fourth album is good, people start believing you. After your fifth album, after your fifth album, you, you, you might as well fall back and start doing your business shit because you're gonna you're gonna slowly be on a decline. Um, by the time you get to your ninth album, that's retirement. That's retirement. Because people are tired of you after your ninth album. And that's why the game and Jeezy are retiring. Um, Jay-Z's third ninth album was the Blueprint 3. He was on some other shit. Jay-Z dropped albums every four years now. You know. Eminem. Eminem's on his ninth album. <laughs> and his ninth album is uh, Kamikaze. So, we got I'm, I'm Not a Human Being. Two. I don't think it did nearly as good as the Carter Four. People still fuck with Wayne, but they're like, ah, okay. He's a legend at this point. We're done with him. Let me go over the features. Boo, Two Chains, Gutta Gutta, Juicy J, Detail, Soldier Boy, Gunplay, Future. Trina, Shane Hale, Nicki Minaj, Corey Guns, Dre, and Big Sean. Yep, so. It's a pretty dope album. People are still fucked with it, but, you know. Oh, yeah, what are the singles? My Homies. He remixed Hot Revolver. It was supposed to be on uh, Rebirth, but he decided not to put it on there. I like this version too. Um, America, another single. Love Me, another single. I think Beat the Shit is another single. I hear curtains a lot for some reason. I guess people really like that song. Okay, so Lil Wayne and Birdman after that had a falling out. Um. Little Wayne, Little Wayne had to handle some business shit. He weren't, ha he wasn't handling it. His team was handling it, and it took him from "I'm Not a Human Being" to a Carter Five. 
It took him five years to handle that shit. So he dropped a free Wheezy album because he couldn't drop any music really like that. And um, let's go over the features. Jake Trough, Hood Baby, Leia Hayes, Corey Guns, Capo, Junior Reed, BB Borelli, Euro, Wiz Khalifa, and Jeezy. Yep. He was going through issues with Birdman. Their, their teams were going through issues and all that. And he had to wait a whole five years to drop the Carter Five. I don't think this is going to be his last album. Uh, this is his 12th studio album. Yo, the only person, the only people that have 12 studio albums is Jay Z, Snoop, and E40. Jay, Jay, Snoop, and 40. Jay got 13 albums, E40 got 14, and Snoop got 16. So Little Wayne, once you do twelve studio albums, you're in the you're in the you're like you're like Hall of Fame type shit. But uh, let's go over the features. Oh, XXX Tentacion, don't cry. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't like this song. It might grow on me. I don't know. Sometimes I like it. Sometimes I hate it. It's a very confusing song to me. XXX Tentacion died tragically, and um, I was listening to his question mark album. I liked it. I liked it. I was going into it uh, before he died. We got 2 chains, Swiss Beats, Travis Scott. I got a Can't Be Broken version with Halsey. Nicki Minaj, Kendrick Lamar, Sosa Man, his daughter.